So here we go. The stakes are raised. The challenges begin. I don't know if thing we need to change all that many things, though last time it was really painful. Once more you approach your doom. I think the important thing is I'm definitely keeping a scorching zeal. Uh we definitely I'm going to get rid of some of these things. I don't want the angel's wings. Uh, healing cap, I want no helm of reflection. Mercenary contract is awesome, but this time, wait, no, I'm going to keep the mercenary contract. Oh, god damn, this is making it hard to control. But I'm going to get rid of some of these rings. Hero's ring wasn't all that awesome. Ring of survival. I'll just keep one in there. The swords are new, that's that's great. Uh, I'll need these medium armors. Again, I can still add two more cards. It's just two shields now, so just for the sake of argument, let's add another shield and... Okay, Ring of Survival then. Cool. The rest I'm content with. Or at least, I don't even think that was a problem with the deck. The King of Dust is the perfect implement to ensure your destruction. It was a problem with me losing the shield. Compensation. Ambush, 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 ambush. Six of the six of the... It's five of those freaking things. Okay, at least we get four shops. But the gold situation is not good. I think equipment would be way more important here because we can sell it at the shop then. This is fairly simple. Let's double check. Okay, I can't for some reason check the inventory now, so okay. Great start. The maiden. Oh, she can bless me now. Nice. That's a new. Is she going to give me the lizard either? Very nice indeed. Self righteous. One and a hit the player inflicts two more damage divided by blessings they possess. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, now let's go up here. Goblins. One night you have wakened to find your belongings being rifled through by goblins. As soon as they notice you staring, they run away. They've stolen some of your food and gold. You scramble to your feet. Chase after the thieves. And... Okay, this time just goblins. Cool. But it's great to know that there can be... Another enemy. I just... I'm, I feel sorry I missed that message. So come on, bastards. Okay, I'll have time to chase that guy. I want my shield. Come back here. I need to keep an eye on the guy with the shield. He's the one that is important. Come on, get up. Get up. Okay, and now the portal is open. So, once you kill one of them... It will open the portals. Okay, 12 gold and 6 food. That's not bad. And we got the shield. Okay, but we lost 7 gold. Perfect. 
And it's just perfect. Bound once more, seeking the heart of it all. Styles, I fought as much. Oh, let's check the last card. Lionel! Awesome. Whilst enjoying your evening meal in the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps his shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. So what are we going to ask him for? Okay, I can't give him 20 gold. Uh, let's give him the bread. Aha! I know what you need. One food gain card. He taps the table with his staff and some plum cakes appear in front of you. Remember boy, when someone asks you if you'd like the cake or pie, tell them you want cake and pie. Then you will draw one food gain card. Free food, okay, that was not a waste. And yes, he again s with a snitch, he stole our pickled onion. But okay, it's good to know that it's getting more randomized. Head downwards if you dare. I do. Way to the stairs. Okay, now I can access my inventory. So, composition and self righteousness, light armor, axe, and shield. Everything seems to be in order. Yeah, this looks kind of fine. A tinker. <laughs> okay, I have nothing to give you or sell to you. It's enough to put you off crossing at bridges like this. Surely there's an alternative that would leave you less exposed and vulnerable. Deadman's Gorge. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Deadman's Gorge, you hear movement from under the rope bridge. It's an ambush! Two monster cards. Okay, this should be relatively easy. Two of skulls and three of dust. I wonder what these red dots mean. I don't think they were there before. Is it the strength of the enemy or I'm entirely sure? Okay, I do have the shield. Okay. Cool. Display marvelous dexterity. For one who seems such an oath. Okay, so far so good. It's all in the shield. Nice, didn't lose any health. It is really all in the shield. That's just all it takes for me. Three game cards, five food, equipment. Middle of the road in every way. Fuck yeah, medium armor. Yes, I want to equip it. And free food. Okay, 14 food, medium armor. It seems like a good way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Uh, seems to be something wrong with this patch. Does there are bugs in it? I guess it's going to get repatched soon. Bandit attack. A group of bandits suddenly attacks. The king of dust isn't happy about you killing his men. Free of dust. Easy peasy. Oh, I like this map. The desert makes it so cool to fight. If I had that fire scepter this time, I'd be pretty much unstoppable. Oh, holy crap! Killed by a shoot to the face. Oh, that was painful. 
one game card. Help, then I work harder to take it. Oh, uh, ten health. That isn't really beneficial at this point. Of okay. Course, killing their leader is a fine way to provoke them. This looks like a challenge. Four of play. So let's see how we're going to deal with these. And they don't have those red dots on it, so it's probably really upgrades. Because the bandits are stronger and they have throwing knives, yeah? Kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh shit, I forgot about the unstoppable attacks. At least we got the medium armor. Okay, I lost three hit points. This is way better than last time. Did I chop his fucking leg off? One food gain card. Food is imperative. Ten food! Oh, hell yeah. Captain of the Guards. This one is new. I've never seen this card before. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. You hear a shout from up ahead and the sound of battle. Racing forwards, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. Four of Skulls. Broken bones wither the area around the man, but there are still more closing in on him, and he appears bad danger. Stranger, he goes out to you as he throws his weapon to you. Here, take my mace and put an end to these monstrosities. Yes, equip it. It's going to help us a lot. So we need to kill four skeletons, is that it? It's relatively easy. I hope I haven't spoken too soon. But come on game, four skeletons. Okay, I need to get out of there. Crap, that was easy. Or maybe I'm getting better, I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you guys to decide. But look at that, we're down to zero gold again. Could work putting them to rest. Keep the mace, we have enough back at Kadir, he says, slow standing. We've been hearing reports of undead in our kingdom recently and I came to investigate. He stops to look around at all the bone fragments. More of them are here than I suspected. Some new horror must have decided to settle in these parts and brought its minions. I must head back to the capital and report this to the Duke. Watch your step, stranger. There is something more powerful at work here than just these skeletons. The card no token is now yours. Well, that was easy. Deeper towards our foe. No problem, we have a lot of food, so let's see the other two cards. Traveling here, well these are getting useless. Zero gold, zero gold. This is interesting though, maze of traps, we can, we can get something here. Let's enter the cave. Let's see if the game got an updated version of the maze for us. Actually, it does. Look at that. There are... There are... Shooty shooty traps. Oh crap, it's so close together. Fuck you. We got a hit. Is it just me or is it turning faster? Fuck you! Oh, 
Oh, come on. They're just too close together for comfort. Okay, this is easy. There's a shooty trap there. Remember, I'm doing it for loot. Fuck you, game. No! Well, we got there, but 58 gold. Down, no, 58 health left. Free gain guards. Equipment. A quick flash of gold, and the bandits will forget themselves. Fool's gold. On every weapon ability usage, all bandits are stunned for 3 seconds, but you also earn 50 less gold. On every weapon ability usage, Okay, is that like a finisher? I'm not sure. 15 gold and... I'm sure you're grateful for that. Equipment. Shield. Okay, shields provide passive damage mitigation and proceed to reflect projectiles. Uh, I have a shield, but let's equip this one. It looks new. So now I have 8 gold and I have a couple of things to sell. So let's see what he has for us, and then I can, um, I guess, decide what to sell or what to buy. Okay, this is new as well. Pretty damn cool. I like how they upgrade the graphics. That's awesome. So he can just heal me, remove curse, or sell me some food. How much for the healing? Eight. Okay, I'm... I'm taking that <laughs> because if I didn't, I'd lose the gold immediately anyway. Yes, let's leave the shop and enter the next level of the dungeon. Were you hoping this was the end? No, another floor awaits. So far, this is a successful run. Let's hope the next level won't be the last one for me. On this floor, the King of Dust waits for you. He is prepared. Are you? Wow, well, shit. Now, this is new. I'm not sure how to approach it. He could be at any of the crossings or in the corners. Damn. 